In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can upload your YouTube shorts to your YouTube channel if you're using a desktop or a laptop. The whole process is pretty straightforward, but if this is your first time doing it, no worries, we're gonna go over it step-by-step step, nice and easy. So let's get to it. So head over to youtube.com and make sure that you're logged in with the YouTube channel that you wanna upload your shorts to. And then in the right top corner, there is this button that you can click that has a little plus. If you hover over it, you'll already see that it says create. So if we click on that, it will give us three options. It will give us the option to create a post, go live or upload a video. We're going to upload a video and that will take us to our YouTube creator studio or the back end of our YouTube channel. And in here you can see, you can either drag and drop video files to upload, or you can click on the select files button. Let's just do that. And this will open up your finder, or if you're on windows, it will just open up your documents and you have to navigate to the folder that holds the video or the short that you want to upload. So let me just select this one and then we're going to click open. And as you can see, now this video is uploading. And while it is uploading, YouTube gives us a bunch more things to fill out. Now, the thing here is that, especially when you're on a desktop, it will give you the exact same options or almost the exact same options as it would if you were to upload a longer YouTube video. On your mobile phone, you have a separate option asking you to upload a short or upload a video. On desktop, we don't have that. You simply select upload a video and then YouTube itself will detect the format of your video. And if the video is a vertical video and less than 60 seconds, it will automatically be posted as a short, if that makes sense. The reason I'm saying this is because there are certain things that I don't fill out for a short that I would fill out for a long form video. For example, I do not add a description when I upload my shorts. So I'm gonna remove all of that. The only thing that we want is a title that is catchy and that is somewhat triggering for people to then click on. So this clip is actually me talking about the $5 rule that I feel all pieces of content need to adhere to. So I'm gonna come up with a catchy title to make people click on my short. This is the one thing your content needs to go viral. Ideally, we would keep it shorter, but like, let's go with this one. The description we're not gonna fill out. As you can see a thumbnail, you can't upload a separate thumbnail for a YouTube short. That's simply not possible. You can select a playlist. And for me, I just wanna make sure that it gets added to my shorts playlist. So I'm gonna click on that one. If you wanna select a playlist, simply click on the drop down button and then select the playlist. If you don't have a playlist, create a new one or simply skip this step altogether. When it comes to the audience, unless you have specifically made this short for kids, like it's a kid's show, it's content made for kids, you always wanna select, no, it's not made for kids. This is not some sort of a rule where it's 18 plus content. No, it's really, is this content made for kids? If not, select no. If it's a paid promotion, select that. Automatic chapters, it doesn't really matter which shorts, just keep it turned on. Tags, you can add tags to your shorts. If for example, your short is really specific on one topic, if it is a tutorial, if it is talking about a certain issue that people are actively searching for on YouTube, add the tags in here. We have another video on how to optimize YouTube videos and we'll make sure to link it somewhere up here. I go way more in detail on tags in that video. For now, let's skip this. Also, if this looks different for you, that's completely normal. I have some tools turned on for YouTube growth and automation and optimization. So that's TubeBuddy and vidIQ. If you don't see this completely normal, that's just on my screen. And then over here, you can select, for example, if your video is in English, scroll down and then select English. If it is in a specific location, you might wanna add that in here. If it is a travel short, if it is a short about you're a real estate agent in a certain area, you're gonna wanna add that in here because that way your short can also be ranking and shown in the search results for specific locations. For me, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna switch the category to how to in style. And then I'm gonna say hold potentially inappropriate comments for review. And then when we click next, this thing you just wanna skip. There is no point in adding an end screen or cards to a YouTube short. So simply click on next. 
the checks is simply YouTube checking for copyright issues, click on next. And then we're at the visibility tab. And this basically just means, do you want to publish it now? Do you want to schedule it for later? Or do you want to upload it as a private or unlisted video? A private video means only you can see it. An unlisted video means people who have the direct link to this video can see it. And then a public video, of course, means it is a public video. Everyone can see it. Scheduling means it will go public after a certain date and time. For me, I'm just going to click on public. I want to schedule this now. And then I am going to click on publish. That's it. That's all there is to scheduling a YouTube short to your YouTube channel. If you like this video, do us a favor and give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. And then in the meantime, check out some of our other videos right over here.